Let's look at the concept of sowing seeds. So let's say the land that is there has been leveled. Then the next part which has to be taken care of is sowing of seeds. So when you sow seeds, the first thing you do is selection. Now what does selection mean? Selection means that there might be a different variant of seeds which might be available in the market. Let's say A, B and C. Okay. Now, depending on the quality, let's say the quality of A is high, B is low and C is medium. Now, depending on this quality of the seed, the production can differ very significantly. Production differs significantly depending on what quality of seed you are using. So if you use a low quality seed, then the production is obviously going to be low. So therefore, it is very important to select proper quality of seed. Selection can also mean as to what you want to sow. So you might want to do wheat. Okay. Or you may actually think that no, wheat is not something which I want to grow. So maybe I can grow something else. So what will you do? You might say, okay, let me grow P or maybe gram or something else. So selection means the item to be sown and the quality. Now, once you have selected, then you basically put in the seeds below the earth or in the field. This process of putting is basically known as sowing. Now, sowing can happen manually. Or it can be achieved through machines which is normally called a seed drill. Okay. Now, you would have seen that, you know, if you remember, in case you would have seen these tractors, wherein a person is sitting, they would have something like this on the back. Okay. So this tractor will keep on moving here, moving here, moving here and there are these points here from which the seed keeps on dropping in the field. This is basically called a seed drill. A picture of this can be found in any of your textbooks. Okay. Some of the factors that one should bear in mind as you are sowing seeds is that you know, each of these seed as it grows into a plant needs light, they need light, water, etc. So if all of them are very close to each other, let's say you have a plant here, you have a plant here, then you have a plant here. If they are very close to each other, chances are that if the water and light are not available in sufficiency, some of them may die. Therefore, it's very important that factors adequate distance between seeds so that you know they kind of don't die because they are having shortage of this. The second point is that the seed should be kept at a proper level from earth. You should not put it too deep, neither should it lie anywhere above the ground. So that distancing also matters because again, you know, that is going to decide what's the quantum of light etc that they are getting. 